hi my dear students in this video we will discuss uh, another isometric projection if you wish to see the previous uh, isometric projection problem you can check the link in the description box and in this you can see as an observer this is the arrow head observer is standing here so we can see clearly this uh, is the front view and uh, as an observer standing here left side view can be clearly seen as per this uh, object and top view so we can start uh, x y any reference line and above that we can uh, this is the uh, 100 mm distance this can be clearly seen from the front view so make it as 100 mm and what about this height it is this is 40 so this is 100 and height it is 40 mm what about thickness 12 so thickness is 12 we can see clearly here this is thickness is 12 mm so make it as the thickness and for fixing this height 40 mm we can draw an axis for this uh, cylinder or a circle for this cylinder what we can do uh, draw an axis from this axis uh, the height we already know that the height of this is 40 mm the height of this cylinder is 40 mm now what about these uh, cylinder diameter cylinder diameter is 50 mm cylinder diameter is 50 mm so being cylinder dia is 50 mm we can take a uh, radius radius as 25 on both the sides of axis so both the sides of axis we can take a radius as uh, 25 and the diameter is 50 now you can complete this uh, portion of the height of the cylinder and on this uh, particular projections and one more a yeah, hole a yeah, hole on the cylinder this is the hollow cylinder so the hollow uh, height it is 20 mm and what about the diameter 30 so this is invisible from this uh, front view invisible from the front view this hollow is invisible for us so we can draw by means of uh, hidden lines so we can take uh, being 30 as uh, diameter take 15 from both the sides of axis take 15 from both the sides of axis complete uh, this uh, hidden portion hollow portion of the cylinder what about the height it is 20 so height is 20 mm so we can com complete this part of this uh, portion and dia is uh, 30 mm and we can complete this one exactly on this uh, inner uh, hollow uh, surface of the cylinder and uh, we can complete this is the front view in case if you are not confident about it we can uh, co we can complete after the uh, after drawing the top view also we can complete this uh, doubted portion in the front view so now you can extend the projectors from the uh, all the corners of the front view so you can extend the projectors before that uh, there are two hidden lines you can see clearly there is a cut section here this is the cut portion of the object this is clearly uh, invisible as an observer standing here this portion is this cutter portion is invisible what about this distance 18 mm this distance 18 mm so you can take 18 mm from here 18 mm from here and so the hidden portion similarly on the uh, right side also we have we can take 18 and so this uh, hidden portion of this cut section okay now you can extend the projectors from all the uh, known objects or known visible portion of the uh, uh, front view now based on this we can complete a uh, hollow circle hollow cylinder circle so the hollow circle uh, now you may have a doubt already we extended the uh, projectors from this 30 mm hidden portion of the hollow cylinder but below this reference line you can take any distance below this reference line you can take any distance what about this dia is 30 so this diameter is 30 mm so take the diameter by fixing the center point axis point um, as a center point complete this circle what about the uh, cylinder diameter is 50 mm already we extended the projectors from this diameter of 50 mm in the front view now you can complete this uh, cylinder dia as 50 mm now for uh, fixing this top view this uh, shape is clearly can be seen this uh, pause shape can be clearly seen from the top view so for that what we can do is what about the total length this total length is 40 this total length is 
40 mm out of that 12 on both the sides so 12 plus 12 12 plus 12 it is 24 so the remaining length the in between cutter portion length is 16 mm cutter portion length is 16 mm so what we can do is take uh, you can uh, extend the projectors from this cut portion and also from this cut portion and being uh, 12 plus 12 24 40 subtract 24 we can get 16 16 half of 16 is 8 so from the axis you can take 8 on both the sides of axis take 8 on both the sides of axis so now this total length is 16 so 8 above the axis 8 below the axis total length is what is the total length total length is 16 how we obtain that 16 40 minus 12 and again uh, minus 12 so 40 minus 24 is 16 take 8 on above the axis and below the axis both right and left side now what about this distance is 18 so what about this distance it is 18 so we can complete this 18 on both the sides 18 from the top as well as bottom here also the same 18 now this uh, cutted portion is has been drawn clearly with the help of 18 and uh, this thickness and what about this for the height it is 12 mm so for the height it is 12 mm you can see clearly this is 12 and here also the 12 so you can take 12 on both the sides top as well as bottom similarly on the right side now you can simply join uh, this to this uh, cylinder of this particular isometric projection okay so the total height you can see here this is uh, 40 total height is 40 and 12 12 on uh, both the sides and this has been drawn with the help of 18 only this uh, new thing for us is for this cut section we have used our uh, simple knowledge to convert this uh, 40 subtract 24 and we got 16 on that 16 we extended this to uh, cutter portions now this is our top view with this we you know the procedure so you can extend the vertical projector and mark 45 degree inclination line extend the projectors from the boundary surface here the cylinder is the boundary surface and you here also you can extend the projector and finally uh, being this is the uh, left side view left side view is drawn on the right side right side of uh, front view so we can see this uh, base thickness as well as this height of the cylinder so we can complete this as a first of all uh, this as a rectangle with the height of 40 the same same side as 40 m this is the 40 so that is what uh, the extender so this 40 as well as the outer portion of the cylinder can be clearly seen so next thing so you can extend the hidden portion of this uh, hollow cylinder 20 mm height as well as that can be clearly the this is hidden portion of this cylinder hollow cylinder so again uh, you can extend the projector from the front view so by means of a hidden line so by means of a hidden line because from this uh, view also this uh, hollow cylinder is invisible okay so extend the projector from the front as well as uh, from the top view this hidden portion has been drawn as an observer you are standing here we can clearly see this 12 mm and this 12 mm in between 16 so from this two divisions we can extend the projectors so we can extend the projectors from here uh, 12 12 and 16 extend the projectors here we can clearly see this distance to this one is 12 and in between we will have a 16 so 12 mm 16 and again 12 okay that is what here we can clearly see 12 mm 16 mm and again 12 mm in the front of the left side view so 12 16 and again 12 okay so this is the front view top view and finally this is the left side view this a uh, very simple only thing uh, being a cylinder this boundary surface is only clearly visible for us that if you can easily identify definitely you can solve this isometric projection into orthographic projections easily and uh, i hope you understand and uh, this particular problem 
if you like this concept easily you can click the like button and share the same with your friends and subscribe this channel for further videos thank you